straight into this. <laughs> So here we have it. It is the Miel's Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask and it's infused with biotin and encourages longer, healthier hair. If you are a low porosity girly, please go get this. Wait, let me rephrase that. If you are a low porosity girly and you do not have a hair mask or you're having trouble trying to figure out what's gonna work for you and you tried everything, everything got too much protein, not enough moisturization, please go get this. Oh, and you don't wanna hurt your pocket. Please go get this. Okay, we're gonna start. <laughs> so my hair is already sectioned into four parts per the ass tank video so make sure if you haven't already that you all go check that one out so my hair is basically already washed it's already clean so the next thing that we need to do is put the mask in my hair so i got my towel wrapped around me all my clips are in my head so i'm just gonna probably take one out but what i like to do i like to put that section in half go in with this lovely product then i like to detangle it into my hair that is an important step to do that is very important the other thing is making sure that your hair is damp your hair is not dry it doesn't have to be soaking wet but it does not need to be dry so we have some water it has a little bit of conditioner in it but I'm about to fill it up halfway again with some more water the little bit of conditioner it has in it is really okay of course you're gonna just take the top off and we're just gonna fill this up with some water and I'm only gonna go halfway with it please mind how dirty it is we just did the ass tag that was a hot mess and then just gonna shake it up And we have our conditioner water. So let me show you guys the consistency of the mat. So let me take the top off. This isn't new, so excuse the hairs that are in it. This is not my first time using it. It's a thick consistency, but as soon as you move it around, it goes to so creamy, like it's the perfect texture for low porosity girls. And on top of that, a little goes a long way, y'all. This will be my fourth time using this product. It still looks like it's full. Yeah, Mio's did their thing with this one. A few more items that you're going to need, make sure that you have a plastic cap slash bag. <laughs> Make sure you have something to cover your hair with or just have a plastic bag. You can use a plastic bag, you can use a plastic wrap. It really doesn't matter. And then make sure that you have a hair dryer nearby. So I actually have two hair dryers right behind me. They're like the, you know, old fashioned ones. You went to go to the salon. But today we're going to be using my, what is this one even called? Portable dryer. My hair, I, it's, it's, it's a name for it, but we're gonna be using this one today. It's already hooked up and I have it going through the chair. We're gonna turn that on when it's time. All that fancy jack and I even have my iPad with me so we can do a little bit of work okay <laughs> so what I do take it out and again it is freshly washed my color is still there it looks so vibrant I am in love y'all see how it's moving this is after the cleansing step what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that into two being very cautious because it is still clean so that means it is a little bit dry so just be cautious with that we have our section we're gonna open this up remember guys a little goes a long way so you're just gonna take it and you're probably gonna need about probably a little bit more but just start off with a little bit and then make your way up then we're gonna start from the rootest to the tootest so you're gonna start at the ends not from rootest to the tootest to the, to the rootest <laughs> So you're gonna start at your ends and it, as soon as it gets on there, it's like instant softness. Oh, and also make sure your hair is not dry. So we wanna put this on damp hair. So don't forget, just a little bit, not a lot because it will get messy. We don't want messy. We just want, just put it on my hair, you know what I mean? And if you do this like right after you shampoo your hair, it shouldn't be that hard to put this on. It should glide on there pretty easily. I'm just gonna do that. Then once you finger detangle it first, putting my finger in and slightly, lightly pulling it apart. It should not be forced apart. It should be, e it should easily come apart. And once I feel like it's good, I'm going to go in with the brush. We're just gonna brush and brush and brush. Oh my God, I love this brush so much. Do y'all see that? And just like that, your hair is detangled. Just like that, your hair is detangled. Why do I still have this? This needs to go in trash. And then I'm basically just going to twist it up. Gonna curl the ends, and then if you get any hairs or flyaways, that's what the towel is for. Just wipe it on the towel, and then that's it. And we're gonna do this to the rest of my hair. So even if you have thick section like this, it's still gonna be able to brush through it. So let me moisturize it. Finger detangling. Like it already is looking like it's is getting it together. You know what I mean? Like it's already look at it. Look at it. Oh look at it. Watch this. Take your brush. 
start from the ends, start from the tutus and make it to the rooters. It does take a little bit longer, but the point is that it gets through it. So you can like bring it down like this. I don't really like doing that, but watch, watch. And it just goes through, like come on now. And that was a big section. Now do I recommend big sections? No. Do a good small section, but I just wanted to show y'all how good that brush is. It's not the unbrush, it's just the tangle teaser brush that I got from the store. <laughs> so another thing you can do when you put the stuff in your hand, you can and then rub it, see, then put it on your hair. It will make it for an easier application. One side one to go. Hey guys, so first of all, I want to thank you so much for making it to this point in this video. I do know that in some of the clips, you're going to hear a TV in the background, and I am so sorry, so please forgive me for that. I thought I anticipated this day right because I did make three videos today the next video and the previous video. I don't live by myself, so that's just what comes with it. I do live with my family, and I didn't think the TV would be on loud in the background. Due to that, I will be trying to invest in some microphones for stuff like this. I do try to work around TV being on and I know my family being in the background, the door is closing, the microwave's on, all that kind of stuff. But today, I guess I just didn't plan properly. I also did want to scrap the videos and like change what I had in my mind. I just wanted to get this out to you guys. So I pray that you guys do just stay to the end. Hopefully that it's good for you guys. Um, <laughs> And yes, I just thank you so much. again what i do before we do that i just have to take a moment to appreciate the results of the clay mask that we did in our previous video so make sure to check that out if you haven't but to sum it up i loved it <laughs> all right so what we're gonna do this is not a wet section this is not a damp section but it's a little bit dry so i'm just gonna add a little bit more water to it only add water if you need to so i'm just gonna shake my conditioner water up you see me shaky shaky even though we mainly just want the water the conditioner in it is fine and then i'm gonna just spread that on my hair as you see me doing in the video so now what you're gonna do take some of them take about three fingertips and then what you want to do is you want to put it in the palm of your hands and you want to rub your hands together for about five seconds Anyways, once your hands look like that, you got the Michael Jackson gloves on. We're just going to apply it to your hair. You can choose what method you want to use. You can do prayer hands. You can just glide it on there. You can choose whatever you want to. But the goal is to put it on there and saturate it all in your hair. And then you want to detangle it all in your hair. Give yourself a scalp massage if you need to. We want it all in our hair and off of our hands. Continuing with this detangling method, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to be splitting my hair into two in various directions and just gently pull it apart. I know it seems fast because it's going fast, but I promise it's gentle. None of this takes long at all. That's what I love about just finding the right product and finding the right technique. So a part of those techniques is going to be the brush that you use. I'm using this detangling brush and I am going to be starting from my ends and making my way to my roots. And then that's what you get. And I just gotta show y'all how you can take your fingers through it. Man, it took years to get here. 
And so now I'm just going to twist it up. So I'm just going to split it down the middle and I'm going to twist the hairs around each other. And then I'm going to make sure that I toil my finger at the end. All right. And so now with any excess that you have on your hands, I'm just going to rub that into my perimeter, get all four corners of my head and get it all in there. It's time to put the elastic cap on. It's not really much to it, just kind of put it on. I like to put these down at the bottom and just make this up the front and just put it. Make sure it's on your forehead too for the next step and then just kind of, so you can rip it. Like I'm gonna rip the back of it. Y'all cannot see that. And now I'm just gonna tie it in a bag. I know y'all been seeing like the Aztec all around me, y'all. Now it's time for the blow dryer and this cap thingy that I have no idea what the name is, but it's gonna be useful in our next step. But don't get me wrong, I'm not really that percent sure how to use this, but I think I'm using it right. So the first thing you wanna do is put this on. This is going to protect your forehead and your ears from the stress of the heat, and it also has Velcro in the back. So I found out the name of it. It is just a hooded dryer. It's just a collapsible one. And as you see, it has the little clip thingies like they do on the wig. And I'm just going to put it on my hair. And I'm going to tighten those in the back. And then I'm going to tighten the string on it. And then I'm really just going to let this sit in my hair for 15 minutes while the conditioner do the conditioning thing, y'all. So I am rinsing my hair out with the twist still in. This is gonna help me for the next part, which is just the styling. And when I tell you guys, my hair is so soft. So my hair is rinsed off and it looks like I got like a little, little scalp going on. And I started to get a little bit scared because a little some of the orange was coming out of my hair, but honestly, that's normal with a demi-permanent. Oh, so the key with rinsing it out is that you don't want to rinse it all out. You only want to rinse it for like 30 seconds just to get majority of it out. But I didn't have a lot in, so I didn't have to stay under pretty long, as you saw. Look at the movement, the movement, the movement. And that's what we like to call healthy natural hair. And yes, you guys, that is the Miel's Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. I really want to try the whole line. So I did get the shampoo and I do have the oil, even though I wanted the lightweight oil for low porosity hair, but considering I would just be oiling my scalp, I guess. So anyways, yeah, I would definitely recommend this is a 10 out of 10, especially for low porosity girlies. Now, if you're a high porosity girly, I'm not gonna say whether I would want you to do it or not because I'm a low porosity girly and it's Chef's kiss for me. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you wanted to see us shampoo our hair or cleanse our hair, make sure you do watch the Aztec video. If you want to see what style we're going to do, make sure to check out the next video where we are going to be using and actually have the product this time. We're going to be using a few products, but it's mainly going to be featuring this. Because guess what we're doing? Yes, yes, yes. Leave down below in the comments. <laughs> I catch you guys in the next video. Oh, before I go, I do want to let you guys know that if you are in the DFW area, my website is up, my booking site is up, so you guys can book appointments with me. Yeah, that's it. So I hope to catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> okay. <laughs>